We are trying the Taylor ham egg and cheese sandwich, or if you're from South Jersey, is it the pork roll? So let us know in the comments down below, what do you call it? This particular sandwich is for Susan PK, one of our subscribers who follows us on Instagram and told us we need to try some food from New Jersey. Let's get cooking. I've got some butter in the pan, it's on a medium high heat, and I need to get ready and put that pork roll in. I am gonna call it pork roll because I don't know whether I should be calling it Taylor ham specifically, but I am gonna just say pork roll at the moment. So let's pop that in. I was told as well I need to cut this quite thick so I've had an attempt at quite thick slices you guys as ever I'm sure will let me know if I've cut that too thick uh, this piece kind of didn't quite fully make it now I've popped some little scores in the ham as I found that you should do this to stop it curling up so let's see if that tip actually will work I suppose sometimes when you cook bacon especially in the frying pan it does curl doesn't it on the edges and I think this is a similar to Canadian bacon or spam Apparently this is known by two different names. This was developed by businessman John Taylor in the 1850s and he called it Taylor Ham, I'm guessing after a surname. But some people call it Trenton Ham, I think, because it was actually made and manufactured in Trenton. But then other people just call it the pork roll. So you have to let us know what do you call it. And I think there's also a north-south divide about whether you put ketchup or mustard in with this one. I think Mr H is going to like that because he could do either. So let us know in the comments <laughs> below what do you prefer, ketchup or mustard? Back in the 1850s, Mr H, this was actually called Taylor Ham. <laughs> Okay. But the FDA, you know, the Food Drugs Association, is that what it sounds for? The FDA actually made them change the name from Taylor Ham to Pork Roll because I don't think it actually contains ham. The description's not correct. It's not oh. ham, it's pork. I know pork is a product of ham, yeah. or ham is a product of pork, but yeah, these rules and regulations. So that was a little known fact. And I guess that's why it's called a pork roll or a Taylor ham sandwich, depending on where you are. If a name sticks, it's gonna stick forever, mm. isn't it? Doesn't matter what the FDA or anybody says, you're still gonna call it something. Now I need to just get these to be brown on both sides. I didn't get it at first because I, I can be a little slow to the party, but I was reading as well that I think it was the local governor decided to call this the Taylor Swift ham pork roll in well, last year. Taylor Swift did a tour, didn't she? And she went to New Jersey. So he decided to call it that in honor of Taylor Swift. I was very confused. And then I realized Taylor, Taylor, Taylor ham. <laughs> yeah. I was also looking in our burger book that we were sent, and there is a variation of this with a burger as well. So I think you have a hamburger, you have the Taylor ham and the egg, and that looks quite nice as well. So let us know if you've tried that one, or if you've got any recommendations of what you do with Taylor ham, because I didn't really know much about Taylor ham until we decided to do this video. I'm gonna get ready to fry the eggs. Some recipes say they do scrambled egg in with this, but I believe the original is a fried egg. So that is what we're gonna try. This recipe was actually one I found online. So I'll pop the link to the recipes down in the description. There are variations on this. Like I said, you can have scrambled egg, people do different things with the bacon, cheese, mustard, ketchup, but whatever. Let's try it as per this recipe. If you do like content like this and a British family trying American food, then please subscribe to the channel, which is completely free for you to join. Just hit that subscribe button down below and come with us on our journey to finding out all about American cuisine. And don't forget for all of you subscribers, if you do want to see us cook something else, pop a comment in this video. Let us know what you want to cook, what state you're from, and we will do our best to make that happen. But make sure you subscribe first. Right, egg over easy. Ah! Okay, one over easy, one folded on itself. Can somebody let me know as well, is there a technique for flipping eggs? Because I don't ever seem to get that right. I always seem to break the yolk or just completely mess up like I just did. It's not a very fun thing frying eggs for me. As this is a sandwich, no sandwich seems to be complete without a bit of sliced cheese, a bit of American cheese, so that's gonna just hopefully melt on there. The recipe calls for Kaiser rolls, so I've gone and got some lovely crusty on the outside, fluffy on the inside Kaiser rolls here. So I'm gonna cut that open and get this sandwich assembled so we can do the all important taste test. Now some of the recipes did say about putting butter on these and some didn't, but I'm gonna go with a little bit of butter because everyone likes a bit of butter, don't they? 
Now, Mr. H, are you going to have ketchup, mustard, or neither? I'm going to have a twist of the two. Ooh, okay. I was going to go for neither. I was just going to go for it as is. Okay. I'm hoping that's going to be acceptable. Oh, these rolls look lovely. Not sure it's going to fit in the roll, but you know. Do you want butter? Okay, let's assemble. Now, one recipe just said one slice of the ham, and another recipe said for two. So, obviously, I thought more is good. I was going to say less is more, but that's not right. What are you thinking? No, looking good though. Now, as you would like a little bit of mustard and ketchup, shall I just go for it? Mm hmm Enough ketchup? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's assemble. Yours is oozing. Alana's absolutely going to kill me. She's been wanting a roll all day when we went to go and buy these this morning. And I think this was going to be a Saturday morning treat, but it's taken a long time. It is now half past two. She's probably going to wake up from her nap, so I'm going to have to quickly rustle her one up. But mm. let's try this. I'm excited. Mm. I don't think I've got much egg in that one, so I'm going to try this half. Well, it smells great. Oh, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> I'm bloody glad I've got mustard in mine. That complements it really well. Oh, it's quite salty, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I forgot to put salt and pepper on it, but I'm glad I didn't. No, I don't need to. I think it'd have been too salty. If I've got egg, I don't like sauces, usually. Mm. So I'm glad I've not done that, but wow. The textures and that's quite good because you've got the crispy outer of the ham, haven't you? And then it's like softer inside. And the egg, all right, my... Bloody hell, that's good. I don't really make good eggs, but it tastes all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it tastes fine, it's great. Oh, mmm. Oh, mmm. Mm. That is some good roll. Wow, that was really good. You can tell by the unofficial sandwich of New Jersey, can't you? Okay, all important, mm. scoring. That's really good. That's a bloody good roll. The flavour profile is, is incredible. I can taste everything really well. I think you're right, if you put salt in this, it would have been too salty. Can't comment about pepper. I love pepper, but it doesn't really need it. I'm going to go with 9 out of 10 for this. Ooh, I am. It's I, really good. I was not expecting that. I actually think I prefer this to our bacon and egg rolls. Yeah. I'm a bit like this with bacon. I don't always like it, but I like the softness of this. I'm much more of a sausage and egg kind of person. Chucking a bit of cheese. Wow, that's a game changer. A bit of cheese. This Taylor ham. I'm sold. Wow. I was going to go eight, but I reckon I might go nine. I'm really enjoying this. If you had this for breakfast, it would set you up for the day, wouldn't it? Oh, it's days, lovely. Yeah. Let us know. Have you tried Taylor ham sandwiches or pork roll sandwich before? What do you think of them? If you haven't, do it. Yes. Do it. Bloody hell, that's good. If this video has left you hungry for more, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It's absolutely free and it shows that you want to see more of our videos. It really, really helps us out. Big shout out to the Patreons and all our social media platforms. And all that news to say is take care god bless <laughs> see you all in the next video